Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by today. I'm hanging out down here in Houston waiting on some repairs, some, some warranty work being that's being done on Trudy Thunder, our Super C F550 Thor Magnitude Motorhome. But anyway, rather than just hang out and twiddle my thumbs and edit video, I thought there's some things I need to see and share with you. And one of those is one of the most important places in Texas history. And that is the San Jacinto Historic Battleground Site and Monument. So let's go check out the, the, the San Jacinto Monument and Battleground Site. Let's go see some, some history stuff. Jacinto Historic Battleground. There's actually quite a bit going on here. There's a three mile trail. I don't know if that's gonna be accessible to us or not, but we're gonna we're gonna see if it is. There's the battleship Texas with a gift shop apparently. We can check out the Texan camp. And Apparently there's a museum here. So let's let's go see some stuff. And man, that is a really tall tower. I never 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 realized the tower was that tall. But at the base of the tower, we have the history. It's talking about Texas declaring independence and how many of the how many men were actually how many armies were sacrificed. And then we move on to, this talks about the first shot and the different battles. Basically, the, the whole base of the tower is explaining the history. So, measured by its results, San Jacinto was one of the mo one of the decisive battles of the world. The freedom of Texas from Mexico won here led to annexation and to the Mexican War, resulting in the acquisition by the United States of the state of Texas, states of Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, Utah, and parts of Colorado, Wyoming, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Almost one third of the present area of the American nation, nearly a million square miles of the territory. All of that because of the battle right here at San Jacinto. And they came from all over the all over the world, really. Huh. So Santa Ana received mercy. He received what he wouldn't give which was mercy and they allowed him to live. So let's go inside, check it out. We're not gonna be able to go up in the tower. The elevator's out of order.
Okay, so this is a... So, to explain what we've been seeing here, we'll go, we'll go back over here. This is basically the history how it came to be. So in here it's talking about all of the memorials that have been constructed to honor. And then we have the work projects being done. This is to commemorate this location. We actually have a QR code that you can scan and sort of walk you through. There's a print of what they're going to build and pictures of the construction process. And there's a model depicting what it would look like. Should have brought a little red in here. And there's what each plaque looks on the outside, that's the plaques that we were reading before we came in. So if there, even if there was no steel, a 120 mile an hour wind wouldn't topple it because of the, just the sheer weight of all of the stone. So there's a reflection pool. So standing in the Texas camp, you can actually see that. A, we're going to be seeing that. That's the battleship Texas. Well, here we're looking at the gear and attire of the soldiers that fought here. Definitely not the weapons that we would find today. That's, that's the guy that caused all the problems. All right, moving right along. So these are the dioramas. The paintings of the battle. Provisional government convention convened here. Peach Point at Perry's Landing, the home of Stephen F. Austin's sister. Second capital at Austin. Steamboat House, Huntsville. It is shaped like a steamboat, isn't it? Had I known this before I went in, you actually go in on one side and you exit on the complete opposite side of the building. I didn't take little red in with me. And now I gotta, I gotta hike all the way around the building. Fortunately, it's not not that big a building. All right, hope, stay tuned. More to come. Part of visiting the San Jacinto Historical Site includes you coming over here to visit the battleship Texas. Now she's currently closed for tours. You can't go out there because they're they're working on her. She's 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 in need of some help, real bad. But she's still there. The radar's still circling on the conning tower. There's some big old guns.
Hey, I got one of them calls, you know? I got a nephew. We had to answer some scooter questions. All right, we're going to head over here and look, look down the bow. Pardon me. Pardon you. Well, pardon us. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Head on. Be nice when we can go back and when, when they've got it back open and, and we can go see what's inside. All right, let's go see some more stuff. There. There have been three U.S. naval ships named USS San Jacinto. 1851 through 65 was a steam frigate, a light aircraft carrier, 43 to 47, and then an Aegeus cruiser, still, still afloat today. USS San Jacinto CG-56 commissioned in 1988. Well, this part of the... This, this part is not real scooter friendly. As you can see, the, the flagstones are really broken up. There are, there are several graves scattered throughout. Huh, the twin sisters. The Cincinnati, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, I salute you. You guys did us right. You, you do donated some cannons. Thank you, I appreciate that. We needed all we could get. So this is the Texan camp. And from here, we're looking straight at where the battle took place. Because they, they went, went over to the Mexican camp and, and, and whooped up on them. the Zavala Plaza persons to persons known to have been buried so a lot of the Zavalas this is like their family cemetery we owe, we owe them a, a tremendous debt of honor as well I don't know how accessible it is but there's a marsh trail although it's it's three miles long. I don't know that we're going to be able to make the whole three miles. I don't know. I don't think I have enough battery for that anyway. So we're, we're going to scoot down here. There's a observation platform. We'll go see the observation platform. Howdy. How y'all doing? All right.
This one is rough. There's the marsh. I had no idea this was here. It's not on the website. Uh, no, nothing to tell you about this marsh trail anywhere. Not on the internet anyway. Hope you enjoyed our little ride through the San Jacinto Battleground Historic Site. If this is your first visit, I'd, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am deeply honored. I, I, I'm truly honored that, that, that you follow me. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why we're here checking this out. If thanks to you, that's why I'm here. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?